This video is going to show you how to enter in data into the TI Inspire calculator. Then we're going to run both a linear and exponential regression to figure out which model best represents the data. First, press your home key. And then we're going to go to new document. No, to not save the current document. And then we're going to add in number four list and spreadsheets. And we're going to start by labeling both our first two columns. The first column will be labeled X and the second column will be labeled Y. And then I'm going to enter in all my X values into the first column. And I'm going to enter in all my Y values into the second column. And it's important that you remember to press enter after you enter in that last cell of data or else your regressions are not going to work. Now it's time to run the regressions. So I'm going to go to document, press number four, insert, and number three, calculator. And this will give me a fresh blank sheet to run the regressions. I'm going to press menu, number six, statistics number one, stat calculations, and then number three, linear regression to run that li linear regression. I'm gonna select the arrow next to X list and select my X column. I'm gonna select the arrow next to Y list and select my Y column. That takes that data from the list and spreadsheets and runs the linear regression. And there you have it. We have the M value and the B value for the equation for the line of best fit, as well as the R squared value and the R value if you need them. So now if you'd like to write the equation for the line of best fit, it's just a matter of plugging in your M and your B values into your equation for the line of best fit. I'm going to round both M and B to the nearest tenth, so I'll be left with Y equals 10.8X plus 27.0. Now it's time to run the exponential regression. So I'm going to go through the same steps. I'm going to press menu, 6 for statistics, 1 for stat calculations, and then I'm going to do A for exponential regression. I'm going to click the arrow next to X list to add in my X column, and the arrow next to Y list to add my Y column, and then tab down to press OK. And there you have, you have your A value, your B value for your uh, equation for the exponential function, and then you have your R squared to compare that value to the linear regression to see which would be a better fit for that data. If you'd like to write the equation that represents the exponential regression, we're plugging the A and the B values just like we did with the linear regression, except this time we're going to use the equation Y equals A times B to the X power. I'm going to round both my A and the B values to the nearest hundredth, which is two decimal spots. And in this case, we could see that our uh, percent increase is going to be 17%, and that's based on the base. And now that we perform both the linear and exponential regressions, you can compare the R squared values, which is the correlation of determination. And these R squared values represent the relationship between the X and the Y values. So whichever one has a number closer to one, it's going to be the better fit. If anything that's closer to zero, it's a weaker fit, or there might be no relationship if it's all the way to zero. Now I'm going to show you how to edit scatter plot. So you're going to go to document number four, insert, number seven, data statistics. And then you could click down towards the bottom and select your X value, and then click to the left to select your Y value. And there you have your scatter plot. From there, you could click menu, analyze, number four, and then six, regression, and then choose one for linear regression, show linear. And then that'll show you the line of best fit along with the equation for that line of best fit. If you want to see the exponential regression, you could go to menu, four, analyze, six, regression, and then eight, show exponential, and then it adds in that curve of best fit along with the equation for that curve. And if you want to hide the line, if that's annoying, you could always go back to menu um, and then analyze, and then you could hide the linear or hide the exponential if you go through all the different options.